Brian, thanks. The third COVID-19 vaccine is now here. Folks in Connecticut started getting the Johnson & Johnson one-shot vaccine this morning. And the state says that more doses should help with the crunch to find an appointment as hundreds of thousands more people became eligible for the vaccine this week. NBC Connecticut Siobhan McGurl was there as some of the first in our state got the J&J shot. Thousands of doses of the single-shot Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine now in Connecticut. Such a relief. <laughs> the vaccine already making it into arms. Doses administered in Hartford this morning. Why not be safe? They show the community that we should all participate and do our part. And at Day Kimball Healthcare in Putnam, some of the first to receive the shot in the state. Rumor has that I was the actual first person, so truth be told, I'm extremely excited. Day Kimball received 1,500 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine this week. All will be going to educators. Exciting. I'm excited that we only had to get one dose. The single shot making it easier to vaccinate large groups like educators requiring one clinic instead of two. The ability to disrupt school schedules as little as possible is a huge benefit to the school system. Yale New Haven Health and Hartford Healthcare both received upwards of 7,000 doses. Hartford Healthcare says their shots will be split between eligible groups. Knowing that I'm here today for this vaccine gives me great hope. Statewide, people will be able to see which vaccine is offered at a specific clinic before signing up. While the j, &J vaccine appeared to be only slightly less effective in clinical trials than the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, Dr. Anthony Fauci says true comparisons are impossible and all offer life-saving protection. The message from health leaders here. Take the vaccine that you can get. The state is expecting 39,000 total doses of the J&J &J vaccine to arrive this week. The educators we spoke with today hoping this shot is a first step in getting kids back in the classroom full time. Hopefully get everybody back with us and um, finish the school year all together. Siobhan McGraw, NBC Connecticut News.